Hey there, welcome to Be Well With Steph, the podcast, the show for women who know that personal wellness can be an actively pursued goal and who are ready to tackle building healthier daily habits with a little bit of good humor, a little bit of grace, and a lot of coffee. I'm Steph Jenko, your holistic nutrition coach and your host, and I'm here to help empower you to create and maintain a healthy lifestyle you love, a lifestyle that gives you the strength energy, and confidence to go after your wildest dreams. As soon as the sun is out, you can bet that I am looking for something to do. I love the increasing opportunities that summer brings to see my friends and family, to go on adventures, to have gatherings, But I also know that sometimes these summer gatherings can be a little bit of a source of stress or anxiety when you have health and wellness goals that you're trying to achieve, especially when what are so many of our summer activities focused on? Eating, drinking, sitting, and add to that spending? Yikes. So I have put together a list for you of summer fun ideas that I think are fun that still support your wellness journey. Whether you are doing these activities alone, with a partner, with family or friends, or heck, with your dog. I know Cha Cha is going to be along for the ride with a lot of these this summer. I hope that these inspire you to have some summer fun and still stick to your health and wellness goals. Over the past several years, I've become really conscious about what I put into my body. It's no secret around here that food quality and nutritional value are super important to me. I'm careful when I choose my food because I want for my foods to work with me and my body in protecting my health and preventing disease. Taking control of this area of my life has felt really powerful. What I haven't always paid attention to, though, is the quality of the products that I was putting on my body. That completely changed when I discovered Buffalo Gale Organic Skin Care. It never occurred to me that while I was so conscious about what I put in my body every day, I was still using products on my face and skin that could be potentially harming me. Buffalo Gale's products are plant-based and organic. They are made and poured in small batches in my home city of Buffalo, New York, but I've been wildly impressed by the truly luxurious and quality care that they give to my skin. I was never really a skincare routine type, but now it's seriously my favorite part of my day. Not to mention, my skin has never been clearer, and my face has never felt better. All with the confidence that I'm keeping it free of unnecessary chemicals and potentially harmful ingredients. I believe in Buffalo Gale Organic Skin Care so much that I have scooped up a discount code for you guys. You can go to buffalogaleskincare.com and use the code BEWELLWITHSTEF at checkout for 15% off your order. That's buffalogaleskincare.com and the discount code BEWELLWITHSTEF. I'm so excited for you to give these products a try as part of your creation of a healthier you. Idea number one, get moving. Whether you like to walk or bike or jog or hike or swim or kayak or do yoga or take fitness classes bring a friend with you. I have friends that I love to have just walking and talking dates with, where we carve out an hour in our schedule and the activity is walking. If we were going to sit around and chit chat about our lives for an hour, we can walk around and chit chat about our lives for an hour. And that's something that really simply helps us continue to work on our fitness journey, but also continue to work on our friendship. The summertime often brings along a lot of outdoor classes or other um, exercise experiences. I know around here we have yoga in the park or outdoor fitness classes, and those can be really fun things to do with your friends too. Maybe there's a pool, a family pool or a friend pool, and you can make it a, a short friendship meeting there to move your body while you're also catching up. My second idea for you is to start a park tour. Visit somewhere new. 
There might be a collection of parks where you live, even just in neighboring towns or near your community that you've never really been to. The local town park, the next town over. Maybe they're parks that have hiking trails or walking trails or bike paths. Maybe they're just a nice, quiet little outdoor spot where you can take a light picnic, bring a book, bring a guitar. Maybe there are just a lot of guitars in my world, but I know that I love to lay on a blanket with a good book in the sunshine while someone's playing the guitar in the background. That just sounds heavenly. Maybe there are some fruits or vegetables that we can munch on or just giant water bottles. And it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. It can just be making the time to get some fresh air, the time to spend time with a friend or to spend time with your own thoughts or your own creative opportunities or your own learning and reading, but to do that outside in the fresh air. Third idea, start a book club. Now I have to be honest here that this one jumps out to me because I've never actually been in a book club before. It's always just something that I've heard other people talk about, but that has sounded really interesting to me. So I think that if a group of friends could get together to discuss a fiction and fun topic, to maybe learn a new topic together, to read something where they're working on their personal development together, and then they have a chance to talk about that, that can be an amazing way to grow your mind, to grow our spirits, to connect with other people, to learn new stuff without um, taking too much time or too much effort, right? And maybe one of your wellness goals could be related to personal development or to expanding the way that you think or to reading and challenging your mind in a new way on a regular basis. And a book club is a way to do that, as I'm told anyway. A book club is a way to do that where you're in community with one another and where you're spending time in a social environment that is, again, not just eating or drinking or spending money, but doing something that could really enrich ourselves. Side note, if anyone would like to start a book club with me this summer, you know where to find me. Fourth idea, have an intentionally healthy potluck. Lots of times when we get together with family or friends, it almost becomes a time in our minds that we can indulge, that we can eat something out of the norm of what we'd usually eat, that the guidelines we might have put in place for ourselves in our own eating, our preferences about eating more whole foods or more plant foods or more hydrating foods, sometimes all that goes right out the window in the spirit of socializing. What I've found is that most other people also have something that they are working on too. If you are surrounding yourself with Uh, friends or helping to inspire your family or work together on everyone being healthier and living a healthful lifestyle and wanting to feel good, then isn't our summer potluck time a time where we can support each other in that journey? I know that for some people that might require a conversation in advance where we touch base with our host or where if we are hosting, we have a conversation first where we say, hey, I have some health and wellness goals I'm working on. I know that you're really working hard on this too. Maybe when we get together this weekend, we can make a point of bringing a healthy dish to share, or we can make a point of making vegetable dishes a priority, or maybe we can do a plant-based potluck and we can try some new things that we haven't tried before. That might need a conversation in advance, but the idea that people can have a place, friends or family can have a place to try a new dish, to try something new, to experiment, to feel safe trying something new as they're working on their health and wellness or on healthier, more nutritious eating, I think could be really powerful. So I would challenge you to chat with your loved ones the next time you're going to have a gathering and talk about having an intentionally healthy potluck. Fifth idea to share with you guys today is berry picking. Visit a farm and pick some berries if that is something that is accessible to you where you live. As I was thinking of this idea, I was definitely remembering an episode in my childhood where I went berry picking with some cousins. We picked blueberries at this local farm, which was amazing. You know, we just had quarts and quarts of blueberries. 
and they were fresh and big and delicious. And it was just such a fun experience to be out in the sunshine and out on the farm picking them for ourselves and seeing where our food our food came from. Definitely could be cool if you are somebody who has young kids in your life too of berry picking together. But in this instance, I remember finding out once we arrived home that one of my cousins who can remain unnamed in this episode um, had eaten like a whole pint of blueberries on the car ride home and was quite sick for the rest of our time together. So um, so if you're picking blueberries, do not eat the whole pint on the way home. But it could be really fun to do something again that is in touch with nature, that is fresh air, that is moving our body, and that is also encouraging healthy eating. Maybe those berries come home and they turn into an experience making jam with a friend or freezing or cooking or baking something together. I love to make baked oatmeal and to put fresh blueberries into that or even frozen blueberries into that. So maybe this experience of berry picking or finding a local you pick farm of some kind could be really fun. The last idea is one I can't exactly take credit for because I saw it online. But once I saw it, my brain started to run with it. And I think it became my favorite idea. The idea was called Next Town Over Tours. The idea being that we don't have to travel far to have a lot of new experiences. And so I live in the town of Alden, right? I know the town of Alden, backward, forward, and upside down. But the next couple towns around me, so if you're from Western New York listening to this, um, the next couple towns around me might be Lancaster, Akron, Elma, Attica. And I have to tell you, I don't even know these towns forward, let alone backward and upside down. And I know that these towns might have amazing experiences to offer me by myself or me with a friend who are looking for something to do. Maybe those towns have a coffee shop. Maybe they have little shops or stores in general. Maybe they have a farmer's market, a cool library, a park to check out. Maybe those towns have local historical spots or local attractions where the people who live in the next town over, let's say Akron, Maybe the people who live there know all about these things and they're second nature to them. But me, being from the next town over, could still have a lot to explore and a lot to find. And it doesn't have to be that I'm traveling to some sort of exotic place to do that. It might just be that it's a fresh scenery, a change of pace, and an opportunity to explore something new and find some joy or interest or excitement in simple everyday things that are just other people's simple everyday things. So next town over tours is definitely something I'm going to be adding to my list of summer things to do with friends these days. Okay, here's that quick overview for you. Once again, looking for some summer fun that supports your wellness goals, get moving, get outside, meet up with a friend to do something active, consider a park tour, Visit some new parks, maybe make a list of ones that are in drivable distance to where you live and go check those out. Start a book club, be it for fun, for learning, or for personal development. Do something that expands your mind this summer. Consider having healthy potlucks where you and your family or friends are bringing dishes that support your nutrition and maybe trying something new. Consider visiting a farm or going berry picking and doing your own farm-to-table experience. And my favorite... Start a next town over tour where you go just nearby and experience all that that town might have to offer you. Did any of these ideas inspire you to get moving or hang out with your peeps in a new or fun way? I would love to hear about that. Hop over to Instagram and comment on a recent post and let me know what new summer fun thing you're going to try. Or better yet, when you do one of these fun summer things, tag me in your healthy summer fun so that I can share it and we can keep on spreading the sunshine in our community. Thank you so much for listening to Be Well with Steph, the podcast. When there are a million things that you could be doing, I appreciate your choosing to hang out here, and I am proud of you for continuing to work on your own wellness journey. I invite you to head over to BeWellWithStuff.com for the details from this episode, my blog, upcoming events, and lots of other resources. 
If you enjoyed today's show, I'd love to hear from you. I'm Be Well With Steph everywhere you like to hang out on social media, so come on over and say hi. Until next time, my friends, be well. Be well.